What's up, everybody? I am Aqua Dude, and welcome to another video. But today is a bit different. Uh, as you can see, I am a PNG at the moment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and it looks really good too. But yeah, this is some uh, credits to Kaiju Chaos for this. Thank you, Kaiju, for um, uh, drawing these absolutely fantastic PNGs of my character. I absolutely love them. They are fantastic. And uh, I will probably be using these in, like, some of these videos for the, for the foreseeable future. I'll mostly be using my VTuber avatar, but whenever I need to, uh, I will be using uh, these PNGs uh, sometimes. Or sometimes whenever I just want to, because they're just so cool. I really enjoy them. But anyways, that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about Deadpool and Wolverine, the movie. Uh, I just saw it. Uh, the, as of recording this, it was yesterday when I saw the movie. And I gotta say, this movie was great. I absolutely loved it. It was seriously hilarious and stuff. So I'm gonna be um, uh, talking about it in this video. Uh, a little bit of a uh, warning for you. This is a spoiler warning, because I will be talking about um, uh, stuff in the movie, I will be spoiling things, so if uh, you don't want- if you don't want anything to be spoiled, please click off this video, because uh, I'm going to be talking about the movie, and uh, gonna be uh, bringing up some spoilers. But if you have seen the movie, stick around and um, uh, uh, see if you agree with my opinion on this movie and uh, some of the <laughs> absolutely hilarious things uh, that are in this movie. But anyways, let's get straight on into it. First, I want to start off with the beginning, the, the beginning thing, the beginning scene of the movie. It was fantastic. Uh, I loved it. I saw it all around on YouTube and stuff like that. It was a major trend where Deadpool was just doing this dance and beating up a whole bunch of TVA guys. Well, I wouldn't say beating up. He was more like killing them. He was definitely murdering people in this. Uh, talk a lot more about that uh, in a bit. But anyways, yeah, um, uh, so he was, uh, center, it was, it was um, uh, messing around, killing all these TVA guys, but also there was uh, some moments when he was dancing, and I gotta say, the song choice was perfect, because this upbeat and cheery, uh, fun song was uh, just uh, playing in the background of an absolute slaughter, and uh, he was using Wolverine's adamantium skeleton to, as weapons to uh, kill all these guys. And it was actually really cool and really clever. He's actually using like a practically indestructible skeleton uh, as a weapon. And uh, it, even before the fight began, he had promised to not use his actual weapons, so I find that, um, uh, pretty cool how he was just like, uh, I, I won't use my weapons, but I'll use this guy's skeleton as a weapon. <laughs> it was super hilarious. Um, I think the only guy that he didn't kill, he, uh, sent to the void, so he probably still died. So, like, yeah, and, uh, the void, the void is gonna be a big part of this movie, matter of fact, most of the movie is actually set in the void, uh, and, uh, the void hasn't really been seen since Loki, the series. So, yeah, I actually haven't seen, uh, season two of Loki, but, uh, I did see the full thing of season one. I just stopped caring for it after season one, so, yeah, uh, but anyways, moving back to Deadpool now, um... Uh, Deadpool um uh, needs to find Wolverine needs to find Wolverine to keep his timeline together uh, cuz Wolverine was what was called an anchor being basically an anchor being is a being that uh, the, that their world relies on so much that if they die their entire world um uh, just ceases to exist after a while it slowly fades away normally this takes some um, uh, like thousands of years but the guys at the TVA want to speed it up so Deadpool is trying to find a- another Wolverine he actually stole some TVA tech to try to find another Wolverine to take to his world to be his anchor being, uh, a replacement anchor being, so um, uh, his world can still exist. But, uh, of course, the TVA doesn't accept the Wolverine that they get because this Wolverine that he finds, the one that's not dead, 
uh, just so happens to be the worst Wolverine because he actually let down his uh, his X Men, and uh, practically all the mutants in the in his world are dead, and he wasn't there to save them. And he probably could have saved them too, um, uh, like could have teamed up with them and helped fight back against them. But he didn't do that, and so he fell into a massive state of depression. Matter of fact, it's really sad whenever we actually hear what happened. It's it, it's quite sad, really. But uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, moving on from the sad part. Golden Wolverine gets sent to the void, and they actually have a really cool battle for a bit. Like, uh, they get they get mad at each other and start uh, just throwing hands and stuff like that until they're interrupted by um, uh, Chris Evans, who actually made a cameo in the movie, but not in the way you think. In Marvel, Chris Evans is most known for Captain America, but in this, he actually he actually played as his old role of Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch, from the Fantastic Four movie, which... <laughs> even even Evans himself said that the only one who would have been able to get him to do that role again would have been Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds. And Ryan did. He got him to play that role again, and uh, it actually made for some hilarious screen time. Because um, uh, once they get caught by these, by these guys, like this faction in the void, who are like survivors... They work for this um, uh, they work for this woman who I can't really remember the name of for the life of me, but she um, uh, she is somehow some sort of relative uh, to one of uh, the X Men. I'd say that uh, bald guy in the chair. I can't remember his name. Editor Aqua, look it up and like probably put up a picture or something like that. Um, uh, or just figure it out. Uh, anyways, they get, uh, brought to, like, this uh, dead giant Ant-Man who is, like, used as a base now for some reason. That, that feels like they're defiling his grave. But then again, um, uh, Deadpool literally at the beginning of the movie was defiling, uh, Wolverine's grave, uh, by using a skeleton as a literal weapon. But anyways, yeah, they get to this guy, and Johnny Storm dies. Like, immediately as they get there, like, Deadpool is just, um, uh, talking about how, uh, Johnny said all these horrible things about this woman, and, um, uh, Johnny's trying to deny it and stuff like that. Johnny is, like, um, uh, trying to save his skin, but his skin gets ripped off, and he, um, uh, becomes a pile of blood, guts, organs, flesh, and, uh, yeah, bones. It's a really gory and violent sight to see, but my gosh, did it make for a hilarious scene. <laughs> and, uh, what I found funny was, I thought Deadpool was just, um, uh, trying to mess with, um, uh, the woman. No, it, there was a post credit scene at the end of the movie where Deadpool was actually quoting him. It, it, Johnny Storm had actually said those things on their way to her. So, um, uh, Deadpool was literally just quoting the guy. Deadpool was innocent. He, he was just quoting her. And he even said that, uh, he can quote him on that. Which is absolutely hilarious. It made for a very funny final part to the movie. Just a funny little post credit scene. There was no, like, teasers or anything like that. It was literally just... It was literally just that. And it just added to it so much. And the humor in it was so funny. There was just, like, so many moments in it, in this movie, that just... Oh my gosh. But they still kept a good, serious vibe to it. Like, um, uh, we, we really got to understand Wade's story in it. Like, Wade doesn't want to be this, some um, uh, violent, non-serious person all the time. He's just not really given too much of a choice. And, uh, I guess he tries to lighten it up by joking, because, yes, he jokes an obnoxious amount, and it's absolutely hilarious. But anyway, when, when, once Wolverine and Deadpool escape this bald woman, uh, this bald woman, which they do, um, uh, they end up, um, uh, going to search for a way out of the void. And when they do, they actually run into a little dog in a Deadpool outfit named Dogpool. Or uh, actually, her actual name is Mary Puppins. 
but uh, everybody calls her Dogpool, and um, uh, they run into another variant of Deadpool, Nicepool, which is a long-haired, um, uh, different-suited, no-masked version of Deadpool, who is uh, really nice, but unfortunately can't regenerate. We'll go back to that in a minute. But yeah, Deadpool immediately likes Dogpool and immediately hates Nicepool. Deadpool wants Dogpool, and uh, Dogpool seems... Uh, uh, and Nicepool seems to be the owner of Dogpool, so Deadpool is just uh, sitting here like, no, I, I want her. <laughs> but Nicepool is still super nice and stuff like that, so he lends Deadpool and Wolverine uh, his car and uh, allows them to just drive somewhere. I can't exactly remember where they were going, where they planning where they were planning to go. But anyways, he lends them uh, he lends them his car, which was a really bad idea because later on, Deadpool and Wolverine they get to talking in the car, and um, uh, it's like Deadpool lied to Wolverine. Deadpool promised that uh, the TVA would uh, be able to help Wolverine and fix his timeline, uh, but Deadpool didn't actually know if the TVA could do it, and so that actually causes like a big problem, and they start fighting, and like this is a brutal fight. The two of them are tearing each other apart stabbing and just cutting choking each other uh, so much blood everywhere since these two can regenerate it's just like the fight before they're tearing each other apart they're shooting each other they're cutting each other all this stuff and it's doing absolutely nothing all it's doing is just hurting them but it's not killing them so they're literally trying to kill each other but they're not succeeding which uh leads for a very very violent scene and eventually they get taken in by um uh, a group of a group of people a small group of them consisting of Blade Electra uh Project X and Gambit and uh they get taken in by these guys and uh they start f they start trying to form up a plan to actually take down this bald woman which I still can't remember the name of my gosh but anyway they're forming a plan to try to take this woman down, and, um, uh, Wolverine is, uh, just, like, refusing to, he doesn't want to, stuff like that, and so, later on, uh, Agent, uh, I mean, Project X, um, uh, the, the girl, I can't remember her name, but, uh, she starts talking to Logan, uh, uh, for a bit, and he actually tells the story of how he of how he wasn't there to save his friends, and how all the mutants died, and he blames himself, which everybody blames him for, which, I gotta say, I mean, like, yeah, it is his fault, he probably should have been there, I mean, like, he, he refused to be there, he, <laughs> and he wore the suit as a reminder, it was, it was really sad, to be honest, I, I felt myself, like, nearly crying at that, like, it was just sad to me, like, anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, also, side note, Gambit, in this, he's hilarious, I swear, I can't understand a word the man's saying, he talks in an accent and he talks so fast, it's so hard to understand what he's saying, it's so <laughs> ridiculous, like, they're like, what, what, I, I don't, I don't get it, like, it's weird. But anyway, yeah, so then the, the group goes and they, um, uh, they head to the woman's lair, which is still the Ant-Man corpse, the giant Ant-Man corpse, and um, uh, once, uh, once they get there, Wolverine reveals that he was hiding in the trunk, uh, it was, uh, he acted like he didn't go, but actually he was there, and uh, they, they all work together, killing a whole bunch of uh, her minions and stuff like that to get Deadpool and Wolverine to her, and when they do... She's, uh, she beats up uh, Deadpool and starts trying to manipulate Logan. But while they're doing this, they grab Juggernaut's helmet and actually put it on her head to cancel out her powers. So she's, so she's pretty much useless. Her powers don't work anymore. But one of her own men apparently is working for the TVA and tries to kill her, shooting her in the stomach. But then he gets beat up by uh, Wolverine. And then they take her helmet off so she can heal herself. And she lets them out. They uh, have to... Of course, they have to convince her to not immediately attack them uh, as soon as they get the helmet off of her. Because she's still a psych a psychotic monster like she is a monster she is evil in this movie pure evil like there is no redeeming this woman at all like 
and and I'm sitting here breaking character here because my character is literally canonically a very good person to the point where I'm like, I'll forgive anybody and try to get them redeemed and stuff like that, try to get them to turn to the good side. But this woman is literally irredeemable. There is nothing you can do to redeem this woman. Because she turns out to be evil again, even after helping them, she goes out of the void and um, uh, tries to get this world, uh, this time eraser thing, and uh, absorb its power so she can use it for herself. And Deadpool and Wolverine have to fight her, but first... She sends an army of Deadpool variants to to attack them. And this is unfortunately where Nice Bull dies. He was he was a real nice guy, but he died because Deadpool used him as a shield and Nice Bull doesn't have any regeneration. So he's just getting constantly shot in the back until eventually one of the Deadpools aims for his head and blows it clean off. Well, it wasn't clean. It was a mess. I mean, like, it, parts of him went everywhere. I mean, like, it even got on Deadpool's face. Like, you could see it on Deadpool's mask. It was disgusting. But, I mean, like... <laughs> made, for a, made for a funny, tragic, and <laughs> very quick death scene. That just, like, killed off a killed off character. <laughs> that was... Uh, that was just like some random comic relief or something like that. I don't know what Nice Pool's purpose was in this. And Deadpool takes Nice Pool's guns and uh, teams up with Wolverine, and they start they start killing all of these Deadpool variants. But when they finish, they realize, oh wait, these Deadpool variants actually regenerate. They're not like Nice Pool, so they all regenerate, coming back. And um, uh, but then Deadpool's friend Peter shows up in a Deadpool outfit. And, um, uh, the Deadpools start liking him because apparently all Deadpool variants have a Peter or something like that. I have absolutely no idea if that's actually true or not. Maybe if it was just a gag for the movie. But, yeah, they, all the other Deadpool variants are distracted with Peter, while Deadpool and Wolverine go into the place where the Time Ripper is and go to, uh, destroy it. But the only way to stop it at this point is to mix matter and antimatter together. Uh, causing the machine to self-destruct, basically. But the big catch is the fact that it would destroy the person creating the bridge between the two, uh, connecting the uh, matter and antimatter. So Deadpool and Wolverine uh, dis start deciding on who's going to do it, who's going to make the big sacrifice. It seems like Logan's going to do it because he pretty much has nothing. But Deadpool then hits him and then goes into the room, locking himself in and uh, deciding to sacrifice himself so basically Logan can redeem himself and uh, try to be a better person, try to live a better life than the one he's lived since his life was full of regret and stuff like that, which is honestly very selfless of Wade. Because uh, Wade only Wade's only really been seen to care for himself <laughs> most of the time. But anyways, as Wade is trying to mix the um, uh, matter and antimatter, he can't. He can't reach it, and uh, time is running out. And just when it seems like um, uh, he's going to fail, Wolverine bursts in. Logan gets in there and holds Deadpool's hand. Deadpool's got the Deadpool's holding on to the matter and Wolverine's hand. Wolverine is holding on to Deadpool and the antimatter, and the two of them are mixing the power together. And one of the funniest scenes pops up as Logan's shirt rips clean off, showing us his beautiful and toned abs. <laughs> It was just absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Deadpool's reaction and everything was so funny. But then, um, uh, you know, they do it and the machine explodes and everybody thinks that they're dead because mixing matter and antimatter um, uh, should absolutely obliterate the body. But the catch is the, the man, the TVA guy, the big, bad, evil TVA antagonist says that um, uh, only one person doing it would be destroyed. But Deadpool and Wolverine's um, uh, regenerative abilities mixed together and, uh, it, and they left there completely unharmed. They were okay, except Wolverine's shirt was still gone, so everybody was staring at it. <laughs> 
And, yeah, it was an absolutely hilarious movie. Like, and a very fun one, too. I mean, like, uh, the, the serious tone, but the, but the comedic relief and stuff like that. There was so much comedy in this movie. The jokes, the quick crack jokes and everything like that. And the longer jokes, like, those were some of the funnier ones. It was just hilarious. And the cameos, too. I mean, like, <laughs> Sabretooth appeared in this movie, but he... But just as I thought that there was going to be, like, a big epic clash between Sabretooth and Wolverine, no, nah, no, nah, Wolverine just cuts his head off and he's done. But then J Deadpool picks up Sabretooth's head and <laughs> starts quoting some other movie. I don't know. I don't know exactly what he was quoting. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just... <sighs> Maybe I'm just that young generation that just doesn't understand that kind of stuff. But, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it was very, very enjoyable. Like, the humor, the seriousness, the story, it was... It actually made sense. The antagonist was, uh... The antagonist was, uh... I don't know. I mean, like, it seemed, it seemed pretty good. Like, uh, it's just, like, I, I, I think they could have done better with the villain, stuff like that. But, nah, she just, she was just a, a horrible, irredeemable person, uh, who, uh, just got obliterated whenever the Time Ripper was destroyed. So, yeah. But, anyways, the, the movie was really good. I, I seriously enjoyed it. Um, uh, it's up, like, top, of the tops of, uh, the best 2024 movies. In my opinion, the best 2024 movies is, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine and Godzilla Kong. Those are my two favorites, uh, of this year, and, uh, I absolutely love them, and I seriously, um, uh, hope to see more of the Deadpool franchise and the Godzilla franchise as well. Uh, I, I love the Godzilla movies. But, yeah, uh, it was... Super fun. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with my family. I watched it with my family, and uh, it was absolutely hilarious. I, every bit of it. I, I just, I, I love, I love the movie a lot. And uh, yeah, that's uh, all I can really say. Um, it was very violent. A lot of bloody things in it. But uh, hey, you know, it's an R-rated movie. A lot of sexual jokes and stuff like that. So hey. Uh, at least it lived up to its R rated movie um, uh, expectation. A lot of a lot of fourth wall breaking, especially with the Disney jokes. Ryan Reynolds especially um, uh, made it funny whenever um, uh, he started roasting Disney uh, on it, just like saying how um, uh, d how Marvel got sold out to Disney and how Fox Twentieth Century Fox is dead. So <laughs> it was so funny. And it made sense too. Like it was, like it was actually. It felt. Real. Oh my gosh! But anyways, yeah, it was. It was a super enjoyable movie, and I really liked it. So um, uh, let me know your thoughts on the Deadpool Wolverine movie um uh, in the comments. Uh, if you've seen it, uh, let me know your thoughts on it, uh, and uh, if you agree with anything I've said, like um uh, how I've said how good it is and stuff like that. Very good movie. Would recommend. Do watch it, please. It's fantastic, and it has busted the box office. So, anyway, yeah, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you again, Kaiju, for making these, uh, PNGs for me. Seriously, these things are absolutely awesome. I love, I love them so much. But that's really all I, uh, have to say. And, uh, yeah, I will, uh, the, see you in the next video. Thank you, and good night. Bye-bye!